subscribe this channel for more videos on botanical science and plants. Press bell icon for getting notifications for new videos. Welcome readers. Today we are going to study about the plant kingdom also known as the Kingdom Plantae. Characteristic features of the Kingdom Plantae are as follows. All the plants that we see around us are included in one kingdom i.e. the Kingdom Plantae. Plants are multicellular, eukaryotic, photosynthetic living organisms. All plants contain chlorophyll that help in photosynthesis. They are autotrophs as they make their own food. Plant kingdom is broadly divided into two subkingdoms, cryptogamy and phanerogamy. On the basis of subgroups, plant kingdom is divided into five subgroups, thalophyta, bryophyta, phyta, gymnosperm and angiosperm where thalophyta. Bryophyta AMD teridophyta are included in cryptogams while gymnosperms and angiosperms are included in phanerogams. The kingdom Plantae is divided into two subkingdoms, cryptogams and phanerogams. Cryptogams are again subdivided into three groups i.e. Thalophyta, Bryophyta, and Teridophyta. Similarly, Phanerogams are also divided into two groups i.e. gymnosperms and angiosperms. Cryptogams are the seedless plants while phanerogams bear seeds. Thalophyta and bryophyta have thallus-like body and do not have vascular tissues while pteridophytes have well-distinguished plant parts and vascular tissues. In case of phanerogams, gymnosperms have, germs have naked seeds and angiosperms have covered seeds. Moving on to cryptogams. Till now we know that. Cryptogams are seedless plants and lowers plants that bear no flowers, seeds, and fruits. These reproduce by vegetative, asexual, and sexual means. Vegetative reproduction takes place as cell division or fragmentation. Asexual reproduction takes place by the means of spores. Sexual reproduction takes place by fusion of male and female gametes. Cryptogams are divided into three groups such as Thalophyta, Bryophyta, and Pteridophyta depending upon whether they have well differentiated plant body or not. Thalophyta and Bryophyta have undifferentiated plant body and no vascular tissues while Pteridophyte have differentiated plant body with vascant body with vascular tissues. Now let's see the characteristic features of Thalophyta. Thalophyta include lower cryptogams such as algae, fungi, bacteria, slime molds and lichens. They have undifferentiated plant body known as thallus. These are aquatic plants that lack vascular system. Here, reproduction takes place by fragmentation, spore formation and unicellular sex organs. They show alternation of generation. What are bryophytes? Bryophytes are photosynthetic undifferentiated mass of plant body. These are nonvascular, terrestrial plants with some aquatic forms thus also known as amphibians of plant kingdom. These include mosses, liverworts, and hornworts, hornworts. They have rhizoids for anchorage. What are pteridophytes? Pteridophytes are advanced form of cryptogams that have well-developed vascular system and plant body is divided into roots, stems and leaves. These include ferns, horsetails, and club mosses. What are phanerogams? The plant body of phanerogams are well differentiated into root, stem and leaves. They also have well developed vascular tissues. Phanerogams are eukaryotic multicellular organisms that contain chlorophyll. The life cycle of phanerogams is completed in two phases, sporophytic phase and gametophytic phase. 
This is called alternation of generation. In general, the plant body is sporified and diploid. Gametophytic phase is present but reduced. Let's now see the classification of phanerogams. In 1825, Robert Brown differentiated gymnosperms and angiosperms. Thus, phanerogams are divided into two groups, gymnosperm and angiosperm. What are gymnosperms? Gymnosperms are naked seed plants. The word gymnosperm is made from two Greek words gymno and sperma. Gymno means naked and sperma which means seed. These are called primitive seed plants. The seeds are found exposed and exposed to the environment. Cones bear the seeds. These do not possess fruits and flowers. These are woody and perennial trees. Gymnosperm is further divided into four major divisions. These are Pinophyta that include conifers Psychodophyta that include cycads Ginkophyta that include ginkgo Nidophyta that include nidum What are angiosperms? The word angiosperm is made from two words angion which means hidden and sperma which means seed. These are flowering plants. They have seeds enclosed within fruits. These are most advanced and diverse group of plants on the earth. Ants on the earth. Classification of angiosperms. Monocot, monocotyledons. Examples, grains, daffodils, sugarcane, palm tree, banana tree, onion, etc. Dicot, dicotyledons. Examples, legumes, lettuce, tomato, potato oak, daisies, etc. Let's see what we have learned today. We have learned so far that plant kingdom is also known as kingdom planty that include all photosynthetic, multicellular living organisms. Kingdom planty is divided into two sub-kingdoms, cryptogams and phanerogams. Cryptogams are seedless plants that are further divided into Thalophyta, Bryophyta, and Pteridophyta. Thalophyta are thallus-like plant body that are aquatic in nature. Bryophyta are also thallus-like body but can live in water and on land. Pteridophytes are plant body divided into root, shoot and leaves and have vascular system. Phanerogams are seed-bearing plants that are divided into gymnosperms and angiosperms. Gymnosperms contain naked seeds and further divided into four groups. Angiosperms are most advanced plants that have covered seeds and flavored seeds and flowers. These are again divided into two groups. Subscribe this channel for more videos on botanical science and plants. Press bell icon for getting notifications for new videos.